hello everyone and welcome back to this old dollhouse part maybe four or five. Today my goal is to reconstruct the railing on the front porch, on the front step actually, uh, and the little overhang that is missing. Now these are pieces that are long gone. Who knows when they broke off of this dollhouse, but there's not much there except a few ghost marks. So I'm basically, basically going to be reconstructing it, keeping in mind that this is a Tudor Revival house, so it's not going to be anything fancy, no gingerbread. Very simple. And I'm just using <clears throat> old bits and bobs, little pieces of wood that are sitting around this garage, and uh, the tools that I have on hand, much like the gentleman would have done who made this dollhouse over, uh, well, right about 100 years ago. And then we may do just a little bit of cleaning. I'm not sure how far I'll get today. So why delay any longer? Let's go see if we can rebuild this porch. Okay, now since we've got a classic uh, early 1920s Tudor revival house, there's no gingerbread, nothing fancy pantsy. It was out of style and it was being ripped off of, ginger of uh, Victorian houses. It was popular to do that. To, to modernize them. So we're going to use what we've got here. Again, we've already seen this ghost, this bracket here and the ghost mark of where the other one was. So we're just going to have a little slanted roof that comes down right here. It's going to be very simple. And we'll build a uh, railing to come out here, connect here, then go down the steps and connect here. Um, I There's there wouldn't have been a pole coming down. See, this would not have gone all the way up because it wouldn't, it would be in too far to support the roof. It doesn't match the ghost mark. So we just had these two brackets here holding the roof. All right, let's go look at what I'm gonna use. So here in the garage, uh, I'm at my father's workbench and just digging through old bits and pieces that, that he saved over the years. Uh, mostly in old coffee cans, which you've seen. I found these three pieces of, I guess it's masonite or gypsum board, that kind of thing. This is old fashioned and this has been around um, for over a hundred years, this type of material. So I found these three pieces and I'm simply gonna glue them up. Um, gonna glue them together and then cut these points off. I think I'm just gonna have a rectangle. I really don't think I'm gonna to try to do anything fancy because I'm taking hints from the style of the house. So we'll just glue these together and then cut this off and that'll be the roof for our porch. Let's get with it. Well, before I glue these up, I decided for support uh, and extra strength, it wouldn't be quite enough to just have glue on these seams. Um, and this is gonna be the underside of the porch roof. So I'm going to glue this piece here. I went ahead and cut that. So we'll glue this and that'll give some support and I might glue another strip along here which you'll never see. But that'll go ahead and keep this nice and strong. Okay, here is the progress report on the front porch. I'm just going to assume that clothes pins were used for the banister, for the railing, the posts, the same as on the staircase. 
And so I've taken two of these old clothespins and cut the points off of the bottoms. That one's been chewed up on the top by a mouse, but we're gonna use this anyway. Uh, in respect for the mouse family that was living in here after uh, this was put away in the attic. So we're gonna wind up with one clothespin here and then one here. But I need to fill them in, you see. So I've told you that I do a lot of restoration on old pump organs. This is an old um, pump organ part. That's the old leather. This goes under the key and this is what covers the, the uh, reed. And uh, so I have some extras. So I split these in half and then sanded them down. And then these pieces, this might not be the one. Okay, so these will go up in here and I will glue those and we'll seal that up so we have a solid, I could just put wood filler in there, but I'm gonna, I'm repairing it the way uh, the builder did originally. Okay, so then these will go here. And then I'm gonna use the same kind of railing that he used on the staircase which is just these little dowels. And I can see there are two, I don't know if this is in the frame or not. Is my, I don't think you can, no, that's not in the frame, hold on. Okay, now it is. There are two holes right here. That's it, where the railings went. We can see that they came out like that. So I'll have just two little, simple little railings right there. And then, my clothespin here like this. Oh, you can't see it. And it'll all, it'll all go together like that. We'll have one more uh, pin down here at the bottom. Okay, and then railings that go up. Now let's look at the porch roof. Okay, this is the bracket that was already here, or that remains. And then I went ahead and I fashioned one up myself with little scraps of wood which is going to go here. We see the mark where it was. Now this one is still drying and uh, did the best I could to sort to mimic uh, what was here. Okay, now this one is gonna go over here and connect to the uh, side of the house. We'll nail that on with little wire brads. Okay, so that will go right there. And then um, I've got my roof with this uh, masonite. And it's wonderful that this old masonite is exactly what the front stoop and the steps are made out of. Now I didn't put these points in there. This is just scrap, but of course I'm cutting those points off. They're not even, they don't, it's not really the way it should be. I mean, it looks nice, but you wouldn't see points like, it kind of looks like an awning. <clears throat> But I'll cut those off and do something else decorative with that. And then under here, this is just added, adding support to it. I'll do something with this. I don't know what... Probably it should be painted brown to match the brown here on the trim of the house. You get the idea. So we have this bracket which goes here. Yeah? You'll never see it. <laughs> and, then, and then I have to trim this as well. Don't worry about that. We'll get that correct. And this goes up here like that. That will all go in place and then we'll have it all back together again with, uh, oops, a staircase railing. Then I've got to paint it and try to make it look like this old green, mint green color that we've got here. So I still have a lot of work to do. Okay, I think I've got it. I had to do a lot of whip chiseling here to get all of the right angles and the right pitch. So I've got my masonite all glued up and I've trimmed off those points. Okay, and then I went and chiseled away here so that um, it all fits together perfectly. Let's go see what it looks like on the house. I've got to hold the camera rather than put it on the stand because it's the only way I'm really gonna be able to get you to see how it fits. Now this piece is going to go right up here like this. And you can see it fits very snugly there. You see up there, All right, it won't sit there on its own. So hold on for a second. Come down here and um, sort of pick it up right here. Best I can with one hand, bring it up, put it in place. Oh, hold on. Okay, there it is. I'm holding it all in place with one hand. 
There's going to be our little overhang for the front door and that bracket there and then the one over here which I had to make up. So, okay, so it's all going to go together like that. And then of course we have to do the porch rail. Now I've got to paint everything and then I'm going to do something because our overhang here sticks out a little bit farther than the panels on the porch roof. So I'm gonna do add one more piece across there and uh, that, that, then we'll be, we'll be finished with it.
Well, everyone, that's it for today because I've got other things to do before the sun goes down, including restoring this old lamp. Now, the last time you saw this, it was covered in 1970s antique paint, and it has been completely stripped. This goes all the way back to the turn of the century. I still have a lot of work to do. Uh, but join me tomorrow. It is my plan to get up early tomorrow morning and finish the porch, paint it, and it should be ready to go. So I hope you'll tune in tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, what did I forget? Oh, the cat. Wait for the cat. So long for now.